Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Windows 10. This is the build at 10,061, just released today. So now we've got this new dark theme. You'll see so the taskbar at the bottom is dark, and so is the action center, and which I actually think looks quite good as well. Uh, there's a few other things. I noticed the power button has gone from up there down to there which um, I found a bit of a pain actually because it's quite easy to catch that when you're bringing up the list of all apps but uh, I know they've had some feedback on that and that's why they've moved it. Now one of the other changes that I've noticed is with the tablet mode which I've got on here. Now before on the previous builds when you rebooted the tablet mode was off by default so you get that kind of look with the start menu appearing that way and um, you get the app shortcuts there and things appear in a window. When you engage tablet mode, as with the previous build, Microsoft call this feature continuing, so if you had a keyboard and you detach it then you would get this. But in tablet mode you get rid of the apps across the bottom and um, everything is full screen rather than windowed. But now with this, um, with this release the tablet mode is automatically enabled if you've got a a device with a less than 10 inch screen so that makes makes sense you can um, as mentioned on this tablet mode you've not got apps so you can enable that in the taskbar settings but uh, I think I quite like it in tablet mode just to be clean because I, I you normally would use it this way just not using it um, in portrait because of the so get it on the camera but uh, normally would use it this way and you don't get a lot of space here so you've got the Windows key Cortana and then you've got some other keys there's a keyboard icon there um, and if you had programs on there so it look, they would look cluttered up so in this build there is the new mail app which um, which I really like as the old mail app used to sort of, used to, to take ages to sync emails so when you're um, in landscape mode and I'll reload the app and, you can, and I can show you what I mean you get this nice three pane view and it certainly seems a lot faster than the old version. You can do things like you can um, you can swipe to take to flag or clear a flag or swipe the other way to delete which actually works quite well so I quite like the new calendar app, uh, the new mail app and uh, the new calendar app as well. It looks much more like the um, the one that's with that, that ships with the Android and iOS, and they've got this kind of unifying feel. I know some people aren't a big fan of the hamburger menus, but the menu is there for the settings. In this build, Spartan browser seems to work better as well. I used to have problems with the taskbar across the top here on the previous build, and now that seems a lot better. And it not only does it seem faster, it uh, seems a bit more reliable. I've had less crashes with it. So here's Spartan browser on. Uh, uh, on the digitallifestyle.com and it does seem a lot faster to load the pages up now as well. So Spartan Browser works much better, uh, much faster now as well and of course Spartan Browser is critical that Microsoft get this right because for many people it's one of the few applications they actually do use on a, on a, t on a PC or tablet to go on the internet and do stuff with it and if that doesn't work then that's a really bad experience for Windows so it's good to see that um, Spartan Browser improving. I didn't like the previous builds and I thought they had crashing errors and other issues, but this does seem to be much better. Task switching seems to be a bit better now as well. If I could show that again, I'll see it for the, on the video. You get this sort of animation now. It's easy to switch between the tasks, and I think the tablet experience is getting better uh, than it used to be on the older build. So task switching now works quite well. You don't get them across the bottom here, as I mentioned before, but. I quite like the idea of using that task switcher and you've got the button there if you want to bring it up or you can, like I said, you can use the swipe in. Swipe in across so that way obviously builds, brings in the notification action centre. And I should show it back on the mail app, I didn't really show this. As well as looking better, it's actually more functional as well. The, the editor here is using uh, Word editor so you've got real rich formatting so as you would on the desktop version of Outlook so you're getting a much richer mail client than you had previously and um, it does seem to be better I've just done a few emails and I, I do like the, the style of the email so that email uh, app looks much better it supports um, Office 365, Exchange, Outlook.com, Gmail, I'm out and pop so um, it, it, it's a good mail app 
So I mentioned some of the theme things have, have changed. Um, so say for colours, it will automatically pick a background colour, uh, pick a colour from your background. So depending on what, if you've got a background picture, it will pick a colour that matches, which is uh, something I, don't, I use on my Microsoft Band actually, that to always get that nice sort of matched colour. So it's quite good that that's got on there. You can show colour on the taskbar and the action centre, or you can choose to have it on the dark theme, and you've got a transparency option as well on the start menu. Now I've found a couple of issues, Microsoft have published their own list of issues as well um, and uh, I've, I've sort of come across a few new ones. The, uh, the start menu won't won't launch Windows 32 desktop apps anymore so um, if you've got those pinned you can't get those on anymore and the uh, Mail and calendar apps have got some bugs, but if you do the an update through window or through the uh, store, the grey beta store app before you use them, then that'll be that'll be fine. Uh, this is one update that I haven't seen documented, but is a bit of an irritation. Is the I can't get the start menu back. So you can hear the haptic feedback for the start button, but this start menu has gone. And I've managed to get it back by switching out of tablet mode and switching it back into tablet mode. So there are a couple of issues like you can't drop, download music from the uh, Xbox Music or the preview apps, but they've got fixes coming for that. And um, there's a couple of other bits and pieces like the magnifier doesn't work in docked mode. And they have uh, up updates coming to those. Uh, now one of the bugs that uh, is a bit more fiddly is the fact that desktop apps don't load from the start menu, Win32 apps I should say. Um, so if you've got a shortcut like to file manager, it won't fire up. Now, there's a couple of ways around it. Um, if you send, if you come out of tablet mode, let's just close that down. You've got the shortcuts there, and you can launch it from there. That's not a problem. But in tablet mode, you don't have those unless you switch that option on to show them. But of course, you can switch to them, and you could use desktop shortcuts on the actual. Windows desktop, this one which you can get from down there and you can put the icons on there. I'm sure there are other things that we'll find, I've just started using it today and my initial impressions are that it, it feels a bit more stable than the previous the previous build and which is a good thing, which means we've got progress. Whether they'll make the summer release date we'll have to wait and see but uh, looking forward to playing with this some more. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next one. Bye.